I'm Amanda Silliker for Canadian HR Reporter TV. Jane Sleeth is the Senior Ergonomic Consultant at Toronto-based consulting firm Optimal Performance. She shows us how to make sure we have an ergonomic workspace. So one of the first things that you need to do when you're setting up your, your workstation is most people think that they should actually set up their chair and the workstation and their computer for their feet. But in fact, what you should do is focus first on, the, on your upper body and get that set up properly first. So that involves making sure that the screen is usually about an arm's distance away, plus or minus a few inches depending on whether you're wearing corrective lenses or bifocals. And then you want to correct the height of the monitor. And in this case, the monitor um, is, is too high. So what we would end up doing is moving the CPU onto its side or out of the way in order to bring the monitor because your eyes should actually be equal with the, the screen where you look most at, the, at whatever material that you're looking at. So that's the first thing that you would set up. The next thing is that you would want to look at your keyboard and in this case a keyboard tray is being utilized um, and, and they're often used when there's a lack of depth on the, on the workstation or if you're quite short or quite tall. So in this case we have an example of, of the keyboard tray. Now the best way to set that up is to make sure that when you're sitting that you have what's called a neutral shoulder posture. So there's, the shoulders are in a relaxed posture. The elbows are approximately 90 degrees and your wrists are just held in a straight or a natural posture. So you want to set yourself up so that you're right in line with the keyboard and with the mouse and that when you're sitting you should actually look somewhat like this. So that's the ideal posture and you can have slight deviations from that if the elbows are slightly bent a little bit more or less um, but this is what you would want to aim for initially. The other thing that you want to do is make sure that your monitor is actually aligned with your keyboard. So in this case, I can align it using the keyboard tray so that I've got a good alignment. Or the alternative, if I want, is I would actually, once I move this out of the way to get the right height, I would actually have the monitor directly in front of me. So either way, you want to be in good alignment so that there isn't any rotation at the neck and that the neck is held in, again, what's called a neutral posture, so a relaxed posture. The other things to consider on when you're looking at the workstation is that you want to find out where is it that you want to do your reading and writing tasks. In that case, what you would want to do is, if this is where your reading and writing is going to occur, you want to make sure that you completely turn your chair towards that so that you're not rotated. What most people tend to do is that they will be working on the computer and then they'll rotate and, and write or they'll reach forward and perform their writing or reading tasks. You want to make sure that you separate the tasks so that you're in good alignment with them. The other consideration is the telephone. If that's a big part of, the, of your job demands and you're going to be using the phone, then what you would want to do is actually bring it closer within about a 15 inch reach distance and if a headset is actually being used then this actually needs to be placed on your head and used throughout the day. Many people have these headsets but then they don't tend to use them. So you want to make sure that it's actually placed on the, on the head and there's different types of headsets so that when you're using the computer at the same time or writing then again the neck is in a neutral posture versus the posture that we often see which is the phone hugger who tends to use the computer at the same time. So instead of using the headset we use this to keep the neck neutral and we bring the phone in closer so that there's less of a reach distance when you're using the the, the telephone itself. Once that's done and you're not using the phone as much, you can put that out of the way, which then creates space so that you can commence your writing and other tasks. So you would line this up, lean into the back of the chair, and when your fingers are on the home row of keys, then you would just quickly check, make sure that you're in neutral, that the reach to your mouse is no more than 15 inches as well because the mouse is used a great deal with the computer. 
and you would make sure that you're aligned with the monitor and bear in mind that the monitor will be lowered in this case and then you commence your work.